Hi, this is Optimus Primal, and this is Silverbolt's Transformer Review. Afternoon, everybody. Silverbolt here, back, finally, to do a Transformers Review, slash third-party Transformer Review. Um, obviously, uh, as you can see, again, I'm in a different location. Uh, I'm not actually in Thailand, I'm sorry to say, because even though we've got glorious weather here in Ireland, um, it's a lot warmer in Thailand, and the beer's cheaper. And the Burger Kings come like, you know, four burgers deep. I will get around to doing the rest of Thailand videos. But at the moment I'm in a bit of a quandary, as some people know, some people don't. I'm in the process of moving house. My house is sold. Um, you know, money's come through for that. But there's problems with the house that I've bought. I'm not going into it because it's complicated and it'll just make my head go... Pfft. And I'm not good enough with Photoshop to actually have my head go... Pfft. So, there we go. So, I thought I'd do an actual review of Transformer goodness. But you're not getting this guy. Because all I've been doing recently is going third party, third party, third party, geek orgasm, third party. We're going to do this guy. Pipes. Mainly because I've never done this as a review of this character at all. Have I? Have I done Pipes? I honestly cannot remember. I probably have. Oh well, never mind. Different toy. So, in the Generation 1 cartoon, Pipes um, is... A, you know what? We're not doing the Generation 1 cartoon. We're not doing Marvel Comics. We're not doing Dreamwave. We're doing IDW. Are you not reading IDW? You should be! I'm currently on a bit of an IDW amazing everything I've gone through. I'm up to date. No, I'm about up to about... Episode 25 of R.I.D., episode 25 of More Than Meets the Eye, I've read uh, Auto Crazy, and I've gone through stuff like The War Within, and then Devastation, and uh, yeah, all the good stuff. Not so much Devastation. All Hail Megatron. I know some people don't like it. I love All Hail Megatron. Um, I'm also a fan of Megatron Origins, but there we go. Auto Crazy is absolutely brilliant. And yes, I have seen the James Roberts meme that's floating on the internet. Um... Turn the page. I have seen that meme. Um, and I have seen people slating that meme. And you know what? I'm going to totally and totally and utterly contradict it and say, I think it's absolutely brilliant what the writers of the current IDW story, Transformers storylines are doing. I need to take a breath before I pass out. Um, I think that James Roberts and the team who are writing um, the current IDW storyline with Dark Cybertron, More Than Meets the Eye, Roberts in Disguise, are doing an absolutely brilliant job. Um, because for quite possibly the first time ever, I'm emotionally invested in comic characters. Sorry, in Transformers comic characters. I've read all the Marvel stuff. I never really got emotionally invested in that. We all know the scene in More Than Meets the Eye that I'm talking about. Well, most of us do. If you haven't read it, read it. It's brilliant. So, yes, I know people are slating James Roberts. And I'm not going to defend him just because I know the guy. Kind of know the guy. I see him at AA. I've talked to him on one or two occasions. We're not exactly like that. Myself and Liam Shalhoub are more like that. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I haven't done a review in a while, so I'm going to make some naughty jokes. By the way, I'm the right hand. But anyway, yes, pipes, or x Tranbox stacks, it's pipes. Pipes joins the crew of the Lost Light on the quest to find the legendary Knights of Cybertron. So he goes with Rodimus and Magnus and, I won't say the other name, and Drift and all that. Um, now, when it failed to launch, the first one of the first thing that happens to Pipes was he was sucked out into space and crashed on a nearby planetoid. He was rescued by Rodimus and Magnus and taken back to the ship. But there we go! <laughs> Um, now, when it came to their first outing on an alien world, Pipes joined Ratchet and Drift to investigate an outbreak on Delphi. Um, Pipes was very excited. It was his first away mission. He wasn't wearing a red shirt. He should have been. Because he was infected with the red rust virus after breaking into a vault, but he was told not to. Was he told not to? Oh, yeah. he was. Ratchet was trying to explain what the symbol on the big door meant. But um, Pipes didn't listen, bashed through and found himself in a lot, with a lot of dead bodies and infected by um, the Red Rust virus. He was returned to be treated 
and he was cured by the virus by Ratchet's uh, acquired vaccine and returned to the group of the Lost Lights. Uh, but his good luck didn't really last very long. Um, he was hanging out in Swerve's bar when Fortress Maximus finally had the breakdown that awaited him from Garrus 9. We will get to that, believe me. After I finish my Thailand videos, the Superion videos, the Feral Rex videos, the Hexatron videos, possibly the Masterpiece, ah, uh, the list is going on and on and on and on. I'm buying more than I'm reviewing. Get him, he's awesome. But there we go. Um, so yes, uh, when Fortress Maximus goes on a uh, batshit crazy shooting rampage, Pikes is one of the ones that gets hit. But, well, he's actually the first one to get hit. But he survives that one as well. The, the, the characters of the Lost Light do have quite general survivability. <laughs> James Roberts is becoming the Dan Abnett. No, James Roberts, in, I'll give you an idea to those people who don't read MMTE. More... That, no, MT, MT, more than meets the eye, and R.I.D. James Roberts is the Transformers equivalent of George R.R. R. Martin. Um, when Pikes recovered, he volunteered to go on a mission to Temptora to see if a group of Decepticons were holding the Circle of Light there. Um, he also discussed what was going on in regards to Red Alert, which is another story that I'll probably get to when and if I do an MP Red Alert video. Uh, but seeing as I've done an MP Sideswipe video, there's not really all I can say about it other than it's a different colour. Now, pipes. Poor pipes. Poor, 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 poor pipes. You see, along with Fortress Maxis being on the light, there's a little somebody, just a little person on the last light called Overlord. Yeah, that was a what the kind of moment when you read the comics. If you can't tell, I really like the current IDW comics. So, um, Pikes was on his way to Tailgate's room for a movie night. You can insert any innuendo you like there in regards to Tailgate and movie night. I won't stop you. You know you want to. Uh, on his way to him, but he kind of, well, he kind of ran into Overlord's foot. And he did actually try to apologise, because he didn't realise who it was that was there before Overlord just kind of crushed him. He just literally raised his foot and went, boom! And it's like, oh! I didn't actually make that noise. Did I? I can't remember. I know I kept flicking pages really, really, really quickly. On my Kindle. Um, yeah. It's like, Pipes? No, Pipes dies? Oh, by the way, spoilers! Um, oops, maybe I should have said that at the beginning of the video. By the way, if you haven't read, um, uh, I'll say now, if you haven't read More Than Meets the Eye and you're not up to date, stop this video. Yes, I know, I've just kind of like, you know, it's a bit late trying to shut the door when the dragon's already escaped, but what the fuck? Oh, I'm swearing. Interesting. I don't care. Um, yeah. Pike, and Pike didn't just, you know, didn't just get stomped into the ground and that was it. Move on to the next panel. No, 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 no. That didn't kill Pikes. Pikes was actually still alive. And he was able to hold his chest with his spark falling out long enough to set off an alarm to alert the other order of us on the Lost Light that Overlord was... You know, on a killing spree, because it's what Overlord does. Overlord's a badass. But there we go. So that was the tale of poor little pipes. Now, as of yet, um, we don't really have anything like a Generations or a Masterpiece or a, a, a really proper updated version of G1 Pipes. <laughs> Through Hasbro, Hashtag, Takara, 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 however you pronounce it, I don't know. Tori does an awful lot of Japanese stuff, she pronounced it Takara, I'm going to go with her. But then we have these guys, X Transbots Master Mini Series, and it is an attempt by um, X Transbots basically to bring th more third parties in line with the masterpiece range. And we, and you know, the box. I think this is actually the first time I've probably actually reviewed a box. Um, has a very nice G1 style on the back. Um, if you want for more information on just how good the box art is, go watch Ben Collectibles videos. It's better than mine. It's a box. It's got pictures. This is the toy. 
Um, it is in scale with the other masterpieces, but because I'm moving house, I, everything of mine, apart from the stuff that I went crazy on Kapow's side buying, um, is locked away. Um, apart from Warden, and then I also bought Gears and Swerves, who are awesome little toys. I'll probably have to do a review of Swerve. Anybody who reads More Than Meets the Eye will know why. Anybody who was at Last Day A will know why. I still want that helmet. But there we go. I want Swerve's helmet. Ooh, look, an innuendo. Mm, innuendo. Anyway, um... This is uh, the uh, Transbot's attempt to make Masterpiece Pipes. Now, as anyone who's been watching my videos for a while will remember that I've kind of been really gushing and gooey and I love this and I can't wait to get this even though it's getting expensive and I need to sell my kidney about anything that's becoming third party range. So I thought for this video I'd do something a little bit more meh. Firstly, uh, the aesthetics of it are, they're quite nice, I suppose. It's a truck. Not a monkey. A truck. Into the truck. Anyway, um, it's a truck. Does this one, is this one able to pull Masterpiece Prime's trailer? I don't know. I think it probably can. It's pretty much the same mould as the Huffer one. Yeah, they've made a Huffer one as well. And a and we've got a wheelie coming out, and X Transbox are also releasing. Um, they've also released um, Beach Camera. But there we go. Anyway, on to pipes. This is the truck. Um, to those of you who are rubber wheel enthusiasts, you will be disappointed. Wheels are plastic. Not on this fella. I'll get round to doing him eventually. Might get Emily to transform him for me first. Actually, no, once you've actually got him into that tank mode, he's not that bad. Anyway, we'll sort that out in another video. Now, when you first get the toy, um, it comes with six separate accessories. Two blasters. Chromed! Two uh, chromed pipes. And two wing mirrors, which you've got to put on. And the wing mirrors, once you put them on, are pretty much designed not to come out. So don't go pulling at them. Um, yeah, you can see head and fists underneath, okay, yeah, whatever. Right, transforming him, this is one of my gripes about this toy. Transforming him, now you can leave the pipe stacks in, it's entirely up to you, but some people I have heard don't actually like it that way, so pull them out, if you can get them out, one's absurdly easy, the other's absurdly stiff. Put them carefully to one side. Um, it does have your very basic leg extensions, which seem to be pretty much on every tool you get now these days. So pull the legs out. Play with uh, the feet, simply twist into place, and then you've got a bit underneath that you just unfold and pull out, and a bit that you just unfold and pull out to make it sit flush. Eagle eyed amongst you will spot a problem. Um, the wheels simply fold in and lift up so they're out of the way. Don't really do an awful lot else. And then you're on to the torso. Now, um, pull the cab down. The arms just twizzle and swizzle and unfold. And again on the other side, twizzle and swizzle and unfold. That'll happen. That is one of my gripes about the toy. Don't worry, I'll cover them all. Can I get this back into place? Probably not without pulling out the other joint. Okay. Uh, the hands you don't do anything with, they're already unfolded. Uh, you've got the head here. Now if you pull the chest part down, you fold in the wheels on the cab joint, like so. Turn the cab over, turn the cab round over, swizzle it, swizzle it, whatever you do with it. And then you just, and this is one of the parts I don't like, kind of manoeuvre it into position and then just push it in. And I bet I've done that wrong, though it actually looks about right. Yeah, and then kind of push it into position and get it done. Right. 
you take your pipes and you can stick them on the arm like so and you can also fit them underneath like so except I now can't oh that's because I'm putting it in the wrong hole it's not usually a problem for me there we go so you can fit them you know underneath and it, it makes quite a nice little side underslung arm cannon pew, 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 pew. Uh, oh the last thing also you need to do is you take the two pieces at the side and just fold them inwards and there you have Pipes in his glory with his gaping back piece. Now, that was on Masterpiece Ronimus, and I didn't like that. It was kind of on Masterpiece Sideswipe, and to me, it got away with that. But there we go. Right, so that's the toy, transformed, and of course, the guns fit into the hand. Now, in regards to this toy, firstly... That bit is really loose. Not much of a problem, it's just a screw fix to tighten. That's me being a little bit nitpicky. Um, when I first transformed this, now bear in mind it came in a sealed box, both arms had come loose off the ball joints. The ball joints on this are very loose. And, and then this is, whether this is a problem with a lot of them, or whether it's just a problem with my one. I don't know. Um, the ball joints tend to be quite loose. This foot will not sit flush in. It will not go in. Um, and I do not want to strain it in case I have a Masterpiece Megatron um, reimagining of the situation, you know, you know, ripping apart, basically. If I want something to be pulled apart, I'll just give it to the nine-year-old. Because that's what he likes to do. Um, okay, articulation. Um, articulation in the foot, it's on a ball joint. Uh, knees, hips, waist, shoulder, bicep swivel. And there is a, a, a wrist, a wrist, a wrist, wrist swivel. And the head turns. Can't really look up because it's got the giant backpack in the way. Now... Uh, the head has a nice little gimmick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this camera. You've got two eyes, and then it's got a kind of like an action man little push button thing on the back that's actually quite awkward to get a hold of. Lift it up, push it up, and you've got closed eyes. Which isn't bad. It, actually, I think it's quite a nice touch. Um... Now, on to the issues with this one. Chrome, I am not a lover of chrome. I do not think it looks metallic. I think it looks 1990 CGI. Right? My opinion on chrome is the same opinion that I have in regards to 3D. I don't think it's all that. So, there we go. Uh, plastic wheels, I'm, I'm indifferent. I don't care. It can have plastic wheels, it can have rubber wheels. It really doesn't matter to me. I know some people really, 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 really like the rubber wheels. I will admit, aesthetically, I think rubber wheels look nicer. But they're not a deal breaker as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, hair's getting long. I'm starting to look like a Wookiee. Or worse, something from the 70s. For those of you who, who don't actually know what the 70s are, ask your parents. It's bad that I'm getting old enough to be able to say things like that. Anyway, now, the biggest issue I have with this toy is the quality of the plastic. It feels cheap. It feels knock-off, pound-land, Eurogiant, deals, pound shop, toy, plastic, cheap. These dogs are going again. I'm sorry, private gripe. Um, it feels cheap. That I don't like. Um, I'm already starting to get um, stress marks from transforming it. The backpack, and the backpack I have no objection to. I think it's quite a nice touch to the original Generation 1 toy. And the original Generation 1 cartoon character and things like that. With the big giant backpack of doom. Doesn't... Excuse me. Doesn't bother me. 
what I don't like about it is that you know you know transformer toys you've got to peg something in or push something in or clip something in and then you just basically you know you jimmy it around until you get the parts to align right and you clip it into place not this guy this guy you basically jimmy it on you know you've got a it doesn't actually connect to anything it just it's got two kind of like hooks that you push into the bodywork between the wheel and the door and that's it and whilst I'll admit it does leave it stable, there's something about it that I don't like. Um, now, I know Ben's Collectibles had a, a lot of praise for these toys. I do not. Now, I do I hate it? No. Do I think that um, its unofficial tagline of being part of a... that it could go alongside the Masterpieces range? Absolutely not. Uh, these toys are not... Of the kind of quality you'd put into a masterpiece line, um, they are, and they're certainly not of the, uh, the kind of design and the aesthetics are okay. But that's the most that I'd say about it. They're okay. It's a nice enough toy, but it has too many flaws. Um, I do not feel they are worthy as add-ons to the masterpiece range, though I wouldn't feel averse to having them alongside the masterpiece range if you know what I mean. Um, with their idea that, you know, the Master Mini Series is going to go alongside the Masterpiece range, I have a little problem with that. Well, I have two things. We're looking at Masterpiece Bumblebee coming out. He's not as big as these guys. From what I can see. I don't know for definite. The other problem I have with is the price tag. Now, um, you know, I bought it from Kapow, you know, someone I've been dealing with for years. They're a great group of people, um, and they never overcharge. So I know that they are not trying to take more money than they should, unlike some certain eBay sellers most people are well aware of. I'm not mentioning any names. Um, but there we go. Uh, you know, they, you know, Kapow will not overcharge with this. So I've paid 60 quid for him, which is obviously what, you know, is the, and is the going rate for him. So it's about 60 sterling. Um, it's, that's probably about, what, 70 euro, maybe $100. They're not worth that. And I know with third party range, you know, I'm like, I'm usually very oogly googly. Um, I like nearly every single one that's come out. I'm a big lover of them. I'm a big lover. You can get a drinking game out of how many times this army's going to pop off. Um, I'm not a big lover of them. Of these ones in particular. Um, the new Vort, the new blast off for um, Warbatron. There we go, that's in a little bit more securely now, I think. Or not. So maybe it's just mine, but the quality control issues on this toy are not very good. And they are not worthy of the price tag because of that. And to be honest, if I'd have known what the quality was going to be like, I probably wouldn't have bought it at half the price. Um, it's, it's a weird one, because I don't objectively hate it. I like the look of it. You know, I can even live with the big hole. I like the look of it. I like the detail on it. I like the posability. I like the fact that it's a it's an updated version of pipes. I don't hate the toy. But it has too many issues to justify me getting any more in the range. Which is a pity because I really like the look of the, the wheelie toy they're doing. Yes, I did just say that. Go back and read Spotlight Wheelie. So, do I recommend him? i got to say on this one, I don't. I don't recommend him. If you can get him cheaper, then I would recommend him. I would say, yeah, pick him up. No, he's not a bad toy. Well, he is a bad toy. But he's not a terrible toy. You know, he's not AOE bad. Or Fall of Cybertron bad. No, not Fall of Cybertron. Not Revenge of the Fallen bad. Or Transformers the movie bad. You get where I'm going with this. FYI, I've seen the new trailer for the new movie, and I'm very much meh about it. But then in saying that, I'm meh about it, and I think it's just going to be more of the same crap for Michael Bay. But I'm almost certainly going to go put the money in his back pocket. So, what can I say? I'm very weak. I'm very easily led. She appreciates that fact. 
Anyway, uh, so no, if you can get it cheap, then yes, I'd say get it. But I don't recommend it. Maybe it's just my version. Maybe I've just got a bad one. Um, you know, maybe I've just been unlucky. But I don't like it very much. I really don't. And I make no apology for that, you know. You know, I'm actually going to... I'm, I think I'm going to quote um, an, uh, a comedian who's quite I like. Um, his name's Peanut. And he says quite aptly, polish a turd. It's still a turd. But there we go. This guy, on the other hand, is my new child. But there we go. We'll get to that eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. But yeah. Ex-transbot stacks. Your name is actually Pipes. <sighs> Nothing else I can really say about it. It's just a little bit meh. But anyway, um, I shall return with more videos of some shape, form or other. Um, but for now, this is uh, Silverbolt with uh, third-party pipes saying au revoir, adios, a visit.